Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hey Celine, how are you doing? Are you excited? Uh, wait, excited? About what? It's been 10 years that every year in September or October GoPro release a new flagship action camera meaning that chances are that we will be soon hearing about the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I'll take a look at that and I'll get back to you a little bit later. I'm in the middle of something, all right? Uh, bye. I think I'm gonna check that out. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Otto and I wanna thank you, Celine, for letting me know about the upcoming release of the GoPro Hero 9. If you don't know Celine yet, she has a channel where she talks about tech, cameras, gimbals, phones, tips, and so much more. If you want to check her channel out, I'll put the link at the end of the video. The GoPro Hero 9 could be announced anytime soon. And I feel very excited, especially now that I know a few things about the camera. This image was leaked about a month ago. This is where the lens goes. Not a surprise, but if you look closely, we can see three holes over here. And also look at this shape or markings that are around the circle. And what I think is that they're going back to have replaceable lenses. With the GoPro Hero 8, they took that away and a lot of customers were not really happy about that, including myself. That was one of the reasons I didn't wanna get the GoPro 8 last year. The microphone doesn't seem to have any changes, but if we go all the way to the left, there is now a bigger hole than before. I think the reason for this is that the Hero 9 will have a front screen that is going to be helpful to frame your shot. There is a lot of people that has been asking for this feature. Cameras like the DJI Osmo Action already have dual screens. Now, after digging around for a little bit, I also found this information. A few months ago, GoPro sent a new camera to the FCC for testing. Almost everything is confidential, as you can see here, until the end of October. The camera is named SPBL1, and there's something interesting about this. Take a look over here. It says displays, not display. They're clearly talking about two displays. And on the FCC website, there is also a test report for the same camera and if you look at page number four on the description, it mentions a battery of 1,720 milliamps. That's a big battery for a GoPro, but if it's gonna have dual cameras and maybe a new sensor, which by the way, has been the same for the last two or three generations of GoPro heroes, the bigger battery capacity makes a lot of sense. I think, I do believe that they should go with a new sensor. I don't think the GoPro Hero is gonna have 8K, but I think that you would agree that it would be great if it had 4K at 120 without having overheating issues. What do you think about all this? Let me know down in the comment below if you would buy a GoPro Hero 9 if it comes out and what features would you like the most to see. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.